All right, it's time to win you guys some money. We're going to welcome in our resident sports betting analyst, Erica, for Easy Money with E. And before we dive into Gateway, Erica, I have a question. So last week we had a little wrench thrown into things with the weather, and the Charlotte race was called early. So if you had a bet on the Coca-Cola 600, how does the weather impact the bets? Kim, this is a great question and a great opportunity for more novice bettors to know that you need to know your sports books house rules because most North American sports books are still honoring all the bets as if the race ran in its entirety. So if you're a race car fan, if you're a NASCAR fan and you have an asterisk by Seabell, doesn't matter. As a better, he is the winner. So know your sports book house rules when you are placing your wagers. I know you were disappointed that the race didn't go to its advertised distance, but you did hit on some bets last weekend. Where was the money one? The money last week, bonus bets, we had two of those to hit. So we had JGR as the winning team, and I also did a bet with William Byron and Denny Hamlin, both to finish in the top five. But then for my best bets for around the track, I had one on Chase Elliott to be a top 10 finisher and on Ty Gibbs. So last week, honestly, Kim, really wasn't too shabby. It was very respectable. Not mad at it at all. <laughs> all right, so you hit on the top 10 finishers last week with your bets. So let's talk about top 10 finishers for this week. Weekend. Top 10 finishers at Gateway. I got Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, and Martin Truex Jr. Now, these are all super juiced, meaning you might want to throw a little bit more money on it so that you can have better return on your investment. But let's start off with Kyle. You know, Kyle won this race last year in the spring. There's no reason that he cannot, you know, finish in the top 10 this weekend. And then my second one on my top 10 finishers odds is Joey Logano. Yes, he won the All-Star race this year. No, it's not a points paying race. But to me, Kim, that still qualifies as momentum. And also, Joey's got three top 10 finishes this year. And then my final driver who's top 10 odds that I like, Martin Truex Jr. Now you guys know that I was really high on Martin Truex Jr. at the beginning of the year. And then I kind of shied away from him, but I'm going back to MTJ for Gateway. Again, these are super juiced. So throw an extra $5 on it. Or maybe if you like Bubba Wallace's odds at plus 150 or Josh Berry's odds at plus 200, you can even go there. But for me, Kim, this weekend is all about playing it a little bit more cautiously. I think that's a good plan. And all three of those drivers finished top 10 in both Gateway Cup Series races. All right, what bets are we looking at next? Let's look at a group bet, Kim. The group that I am looking at has Chris Buescher at plus 160. It also has Ross Chastain at plus 190. And then we got Bubba Wallace and Alex Bowman at plus 400. Kim, you know how I feel about longer odds. And in this scenario, I love the longer odds for Alex Bowman at plus 400, where a $10 bet would win you a total of $50 if he wins this group. Now, we talk about Hamlin and, and Byron and Ty Gibbs every week, but we don't often talk about Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman quietly has himself five consecutive top 10 finishes. So if you like that trend and if you like those odds, throw a little bit of money on Alex Bowman to win this group. I like it. He's shown consistency. He finished ninth last weekend. So I think that is a very solid bet. What about fans that are very, very confident about picking an outright winner? Who should they be looking at? Kim, my confidence level <laughs> for outright winners this week <laughs> is on William Byron and on Brad Keselowski. William Byron at plus 850, partially because I did not get a chance to really cheer for him for the entirety of the race last week. So I, I really need for him to, to you know, run an entire race so I can back him again in that spot. And then Brad Keselowski at plus 1200, love those odds and also love that he is the hottest driver in RFK right now. Well, great information, Erica, but we know odds will change. We might see additional bets. And as we talk additional bets we might see pop up later in the week. I want to know, we've seen overtime finishes in the last two gateway races. Will we possibly see the opportunity to bet on a third straight overtime finish at gateway? Kim, I'm very happy that you asked that question. And I would love if we were able to have that option, but I have scoured sports books <laughs> high and low so far, and I cannot currently find an option for yes for overtime. And that is probably because odds makers have gotten hip to the game and they know that this race has a very li high likelihood of going into overtime. So with that in mind, I doubt we'll see it. But if you do, definitely throw a little bit of money on that. 
but only if it's worth the value. All right. Well, don't forget to check in with Erica later in the week to see her bonus bets for Gateway. Erica, thank you so much. We will see you next week as we prepare for some road course racing in Northern California.